Hi friends, hope everyone is doing good. As you can see, I am right now standing in my backyard and in the background you can see lots of snake guards. Um, so you must have guessed today's recipe is a dish from snake guard that all of you know. That's paravalinga uh, teal or snake guard teal. As you know, teals can be made with different vegetables but traditionally mostly we make it with the uh, snake guard or padavalanya, uh, pavakya as well as um, katrikya or uh, uh, eggplant. So the recipe that I'm going to show you is very simple and it has got only very basic res uh, ingredients. Everyone can make this. Uh, in the past I used to add a lot of masalas to it and uh, it wasn't this tasty. So this recipe would be the best one. I would not say that I am an expert in making all these curries but uh, I'm just showing you the way that I make and some of you might get inspired from it. So watch the recipe and if you like it please give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. Bye. To begin with here I have taken in a pan a spoon of oil once the oil heats i'm going to add two cups of grated coconut I have taken here one packet of frozen coconut and then uh, five to six cloves of garlic and handful of uh, curry leaves and then you will uh, saute it until the coconut becomes golden brown so this is a very tedious process uh, make sure you stay very close to the stove and also uh, keep the flame on medium see the color of the coconut golden brown so this is the color exactly that you're looking at uh, be careful uh, you don't burn the coconut it has to be golden brown not black so when it becomes uh, golden brown at this stage uh, i would turn off the stove or keep it on a very very low flame and then add half teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder about uh, one and a half teaspoon of uh, uh, chili powder i've used here kashmiri chili powder and then one teaspoon of uh, coriander powder and then you'll roast it uh, lightly until the raw flavor goes away be mindful either turn off the stove at this stage or keep it at a very very low flame because if the masalas burn it will give a very b bitter taste to the curry After sorting for 2-3 to three minutes, I'm going to transfer into a separate plate so that it cools down lightly. In the same pan, I am going to add about 1 tablespoon of oil and to which I am going to add 1 uh, small sized uh, snake gourd which I have uh, cut into long pieces and then 2 large sized shallots, a small piece of ginger which I finely chopped, some um, green chilies which are slit in the middle and then a handful of uh, curry leaves and then slightly sauteed for a couple of minutes. Now to this I'm going to add about half teaspoon of uh, salt. You can add salt according to your taste. One more thing which I forgot was that to add few uh, pieces of coconut. You can add it in the oil directly while you're adding the uh, vegetable. Put it up and leave it there for 5 to 6 minutes on a very uh, low flame. Now after 5 minutes the snake guard is completely cooked it's very soft at this stage what you can do is um, you can add about one cup of uh, tamarind juice here i have taken a, actually a very small size of tamarind uh, maybe amla size tamarind um, and then i have soaked it in water for five to ten minutes and then i've taken the pulp of it and also remember that uh, before adding the tamarind juice the vegetables have to be cooked otherwise um, once you add the uh, tamarind pulp the vegetables will not cook 
so um, cook it again for two to three minutes until the raw smell and the flavor of the tamarind goes away and now at this stage um, you can add the ground coconut which we had set aside if you notice here i have powdered it into instead of wet grinding it so one thing you'll have to remember is when you make the yield you should never add any amount of water while grinding the coconut that point you have to always remember because if you add water the color uh, will become more of a light brown uh, or pale um, whitish color so always teal has to be in dark brown color so to retain that color you have to not add water so what do you do if you cannot add water so most of the people what they do is they will add oil when grinding they will add a couple of spoons of oil um, while grinding instead of water so in order to move the um, content in the uh, mixer but here instead of uh, you know wet grinding it i just powdered it so i don't have to add any uh, water to it so i've added about half cup of water again to the um, curry so that uh, you know all the ingredients uh, get nicely incorporated uh, and then i've covered it for about uh, five to ten minutes and on a very very low flame so all the raw flavor and everything goes away so in between once what i did was i um, stirred it very well so that nothing gets caught or burned at the bottom of the pot and then uh, again i'm going to cover it up and leave it there for about uh, five minutes on a very low flame so after that this is how the curry looks um, you have to you can see that the oil is floating on the top that tells it the curry is ready now the next step is doing the tadka for that i have added um, here in a very small pan about Two uh, teaspoons of oil. Once the oil gets heated up, I am going to add. I have added here about one teaspoon of mustard seeds, and once mustard seed splutters, I am going to add handful of uh, curry leaves, and then I'm going to transfer this into the curry, and then uh, close the lid so that all the flavor gets locked in. Look at this, friends! It's a beautiful, delicious curry. Look at the color of the teal and see how the oil is floating on the top. This is exactly how the teal should look. It's a delicious recipe. Try it. Um, you can um, also do the same recipe with uh, a bitter gourd, and it tastes equally well. Thank you. See you again. Bye.